frequent rains and storms of last winter have had a heavy impact on the farming industry. According to San Francisco Chronicles, just in Monterey County, more than 15,000 acres of farmland was flooded in January, costing over $330 million in damages. The flood has affected the production of fresh berries like raspberries and strawberries, as well as leafy greens like lettuce. This is Elna Sarbar Bocek for KSQD. I spoke with Javier Zamora as he was cleaning his flooded farm. Zamora owns JSM Organics, a small farm in Watsonville that grows strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, vegetables, and flowers. His farm was flooded twice. January 9th came down early and I discovered that third of the farm, the lower part, was completely flooded and it became a lake overnight. And so that stayed flooded for a little over two weeks. Then it went away because we had like three weeks of no rain. And we actually started working the land, doing the cleanup and getting rid of uh, all the uh, drip tape and, and irrigation uh, equipment that got dragged away and what was gotten out of place, pretty much the cleaning and putting things back together. Um, and then a few days later after that, it, we had more rain and, and then uh, the, the land has become a lake again since. Zamora says the flooding has destroyed seven acres of strawberries. Putting one acre of strawberries in the ground costs him $18,000. That's $126,000 of investment lost. For raspberries, he needs to wait until they are out of dormancy to assess the damage. He thinks he will lose about a third of his crop, altogether losing about half a million dollars. This affects not only him, but also his workers, some of which are from the flooded community of Pajaro. In a normal season, he employs 40 workers. This year, he can only call back two-thirds of his team to work. They also have to wait until the soil is dry enough and do some testing on the dirt for the pathogens before they can farm again. Zamora has not received any help yet. Nothing has come yet. <laughs> Unfortunately, they did come out and assessed part of the damage the first time we got flooded, but no programs have been implemented yet. We are knocking at the door every week, making sure that they know that we're here and we need the help. And so their answer has been that now because of the second flooding, they are making adjustments So what the... Uh, the help would be. So I would assume they're probably going to increase whatever help they were going to give us. But when you are a farmer and you are the one that is suffering, I see things a little different. It's like, go ahead and give us the whatever you were going to give us the first time and then have that the second help or second payment come in later and make an, a, an, a second assessment. Some of us that are independent farms we don't have the backing of financials that larger conglomerates have. They they can care less. They can just, you know, go ahead and do some, withdraw money out of their accounts and, and cover the cost. In our case, there's no way of getting access to anything like that. So we rely on, on, on some of the federal government uh, assistance that can, can help us continue our farming operation. Dave Sanford, the Interim Agriculture Commissioner of Santa Cruz County, talks about available programs to assist farmers. You know, programs available, and these are primarily the USDA and the Farm Service Agency, and those that's the, the, the federal-backed agency that can offer emergency loans to farmers um, that have you know, suffered damage. There's also, through FSA, a, um, a program that's an emergency conservation program that helps, it's like a cost share um, option, you know, for cleaning up fields and reconditioning fields. These loans through the Farm Service Agency and USDA are, you know, they work with growers that are also have difficulty or inability getting financing through other means. You know, FSA is there to help growers. Growers, they're encouraged to call and, you know, inquire about their options or even apply for, for assistance. And so the number for that FSA office is 831-424-7377. Sanford says damage in Santa Cruz County is approximately 1,300 acres. The flooding was significant and equally significant or more so is just the delays that are going to occur due to the saturation out there. This year, we have to wait longer for local summer tomatoes and expect higher prices for fresh berries. For KSQD, this is Alna Sarbar Bocek.